<sighs> I'm having a day. I'm having a bad hair day. Humid. So look, all this little shit starts coming up. I gelled it. I did the best I can. Yeah, people are starving. People are dying, but I have problems too. And look at this. Right here. All right. I get sun, what do you call it? Sun freckles now. Who the fuck knew? I never had that. I'm not, I'm not a ginger. I don't know why the fuck I've been cursed with freckles. They're the devil's children. They're just supposed to have it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to do a video on this little girl, a uh, 16-year-old Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, and what can I say about her? She's a 16-year-old climate activist. So immediately, right away, I know she's super popular at school and everybody loves her. She's definitely not that girl that's like, oh my god, the climate activist. What are you guys doing today to save the environment? Can I ask you? You're going to the mall? Do you know they give non-recyclable bags at the mall? And if they do that, you are probably polluting the world. Where are you going? Where are you going? Call me we'll, or text. I can't text because, uh, you know, I think the phone is giving electronic emissions out. And I don't want that to happen. So why is everybody walking away from me? Don't do yearbook. It's on paper. Be kind to trees. She's a 16-year-old uh, climate activist. I call bullshit on that right away, okay? No one ever at 16-year-old has been like, you know what? I want to be a climate activist. I definitely want to be a climate activist. Not only that, maybe they have. Maybe they want to do something for the environment. And let me say so that right now. I do believe in global warming. I do believe we need to do something for the environment. Yes, uncle, 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 there's not a problem here. My problem is with little 16-year-old assholes who act like assholes and then expect other people to listen. I don't listen to assholes. The only asshole I hear every morning is mine when it farts and I shit. I don't want to hear her. And she's a little asshole. She just sits there and, oh, she fucking, okay. So I became aware of her because she was trending on Twitter. Like, you know, she went to the climate summit and Trump was there. And he's another one. I don't like his ass either. So I hit both sides of the fence equally. And I see this girl, you know, Greta Thunberg. She really gave it to everybody. I'm like, okay, God, I'll watch it. Right away, and I'm going to not, you know, go in on her too much because, like, she, I think she's got, like, a Asperger's or something like that. Or, you know, just she needs a personality transplant. No idea. But you know what? I'm sure she's a good kid. Okay, I'm not sure she's a good kid. She annoys the fuck out of me. She's 16. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. She annoys the ever-loving piss out of me. First clip I see, she's sitting on a stage, like, yelling at my generation and, you know, baby boomers and all that. She's like, how dare you? You know, you have ruined my life. You have ruined my dreams. I thought she was, I, maybe she had the shit. I think maybe she had a burrito before that. She was just like, ugh. Okay, better. Now I'll just talk to you with an impassioned plea. No, then she does this shit. She's like, and you've ruined my life and my future. And all you can talk about is money. We will, my generation, you look to us young people for... Okay, she thinks she's Martin Luther King. She really does. She, I mean, she, again, get off the cross. We need the wood, sweetheart. You're not Jesus. I know. You're not. You think you got the crown of thorns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, you're not. Yeah, I'll tell you, prove that you're Christ. Go behind a boulder for, what was it? Like seven days after you've been crucified. We'll see if you come back. If you truly are the living dead, then you're... You're like, Jesus, you're a zombie, and you're really him. But she does this fucking shit. She's like, um, we will never forgive you. So what is your plan of action? That's not a plan of action. That's not an impassioned plea to, like, get people on your side. That's a little brat acting like a little fucking brat. You're 16. You barely have menstruated. Barely. You can't, I don't even think you can drive a car. Oh, well, she never will drive a car because it gives emissions. I, then I, saw, I checked her out a little bit more. So she's sitting there just, you know, pinched face and angry about everything like that. And I researched it a little more, and then I found out she was on the Trevor Noah show. It's at the Daily Show here in, um, sorry, the Daily Show here in America. So I look, and he's like, he's all impressed with her, that, you know, that apartheid escaping fucker. Like, I don't know. He Doesn't he sound like a dude that should be, you know, just like hunting lions? I don't know. He does. He fucking, I don't know. I'm not trying to be racist, but he really does have that heavy African accent. He's African. He's literally legitimately African. Um, so she's on there, and he's like, um, you know, I heard something about you. He's like, you took a non-emissions boat over here. Pause the record right the fuck there. She took a non-emissions boat over there. She, he's like, why did you do that? That's pretty cool. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? I did it because I don't want to pollute the environment. And the environment is important. I don't even read books because they're made of paper. And to me, paper is the spine of a tree. And you can hear them scream when you pull it out. You know sap that comes from a tree? It is actually the blood of the dying, crying tree. I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake with her. And she goes, I just want, don't want to leave a, a, a blueprint on the world. And a few years ago, I decided, decided to stop flying and not drive. A few years ago, when you were six, you decided, ah, fuck it, I'm not taking any more planes. And you know what? That flight to Switzerland, and then I boarded on the, you know, I went to Turkey after that. Now, it was just way too long. And first class is not what they say first class. It's not, I wouldn't work, you know, 
$2,000 a seat. I'm not doing it anymore. I have a play date in about an hour. I have to go build building blocks. I'm beat. I've got shit to do. Ugh, I got to go make poopy at seven. What do you mean yeah, a few years ago? A few years ago, you couldn't decide to do shit. So obviously this is her parents and they must be raging hippies. And again, not against that. If that's your thing, if you really do want to help out the environment, if I could help out the environment, I would. And by that, I'm going to litter later on just for Greta Thunberg. I love her name. It just sounds like, a, it, she sounds like a Nazi, doesn't it? It's like, uh-oh, it's like it's the SS Greta Thunberg coming at you. Yeah, you know who put, you know, you know who rounded up most of these Jews that are in this camp, Greta Thunberg. Yeah, the, she's the, the high-ranking one. I am Greta Thunberg, obey! Okay, so um, here's what I have to say to little Greta Thunberg. Lighten the fuck up, just a little bit. Lighten up, uh, you know, not everything is this dire serious. You don't have to scream and yell at everybody. I know you really want to be part of a movement. Why don't you go have a bowel movement? How about that? Do that. No, I mean, like, and this, you should not drive, and this, and you should not, you know, uh, what else did she say? Not drive, not go on boats that aren't non-emissions. First of all, you're 16 years old. It's a boat, non-emissions boat. I mean, think of a car that's non-emissions. Tesla, those are about start at sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000, go up to $100,000, $200,000 if you get the cool one with the wings on it and stuff like that. Where the fuck did this girl get a boat? She's 16. She wasn't working at Petco or something like that for a few weeks already and been like, I've got enough for an non-emissions boat. Let's set sail. Who drove that boat? How the fuck? Who's so, somebody sponsoring you and stop lying and acting like you're all doing it on your own. You're not. Until she's drinking well water, which she might be. She's got Laura Ingalls hair. You know, Laura Little House on the Prairie. I was going to yell at her and say, hey, maybe she shouldn't use her, a dryer or hairspray, you know, because that would be hypocritical of her. But judging by that sister wife slash Laura Ingalls hairdo she's got going on, I don't think she has to worry about it. I don't think she pays much attention to that kind of shit. So she's all right. She's golden. Here's what I know, want to know from little Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Zeke Heil. Greta Thunberg. No. So, so, who's had Starbucks? Me. I'm sorry. So I want to know from her, um, do your parents ever like barbecue? They're hypocrites. You should kick them right now. They are ruining your generation because there's smoke. It goes up in the air. It's bad for the ozone. It really is horrible. Uh, does your mom use hairspray? Your dad? Anybody? Bad for the ozone? Don't. And I'm not a delicate subject, but if you're going to menstruate, you should use use, use uh, corn husk. Uh, if you, unless you are using corn husk as your sanitary napkin, shut the hell up. Because that does the most damage to the environment. I see women all the time apparently just throw them in public bathrooms, try to flush them down the toilet. They never put them in the trash. Fucking, that, what the, that clogs up, you know, that goes out into the ocean. I don't want to be swimming merrily in California one day, but like, oh my God, it's a fucking tampon and it's used. Get me the fuck out of here. I was trying to enjoy myself for five seconds. Maybe Greta, there, Greta Thunberg, here, I've got an idea for you. Want to save the planet and all that. Go collect all the used tampons out of the ocean that have been flushed out there. Go, go swim. Go on your boat. Go on your non-emissions boat. And then she, you know, just like, and then I see people like Rose McGowan, like, my generation apologizes to you, bitch. You are the same generation as me. You are Generation X. I ain't apologizing for shit. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't know anything about it. By the time I did know something about it, the people that were older than me decided not to do anything about it. Fuck you, apologize. I ain't apologizing for shit. I ain't looking to the youth of America for fucking helping out for, you know, I'm not looking. She, I like that little partner. Spending. Now you come to us. Who's coming to you? Who the hell knocked on your door? You can't get two people for a birthday party. What the fuck are you talking about? Look, I'm going a little hard on her just because she's so fucking aggressive about it and so nasty, it seems, and she doesn't have to be. Go out there. There's a, a girl, and this wasn't her cause, climate change. God, it's hot here. Um, I forgot. She was an Indian girl. Uh, she'd gotten, I don't know, like shot or something like in India, and she she came over here, and I remember her making some impassioned speech and, oh, she, I think she was actually raped. And I'm not even joking. But she forgave the people who did it. You guys know who I'm talking about, I think. If you do, shout her out in the comments below and put her story down there because it's important. And she was eloquent. She spoke, you know, impassioned plea on whatever her deal was at the time. I forget what her platform was. But I'm willing to listen to that. I'm willing to work with that. Not, you know, little Popeye over here who's just sitting there. Oh, God, you guys should be ashamed. You've ruined my dreams. What dreams have they ruined for you? What dreams have they ruined? Do you honestly think that by the time you're 30, the sun is going to hit, like, be so close to the ground, you're just automatically going to melt? It's going to be 1,000 degrees every day. That's not how it works, sweetheart. It's just not. And at 16, you don't know jack shit. You don't. You know nothing yet. At 26, you think you do, but you don't. When you're in your 30s, you're kind of getting a good idea who you are, which scares the shit out of me. Don't get worried. When you're in your 40s, I mean, you got two roads to travel at that point. The one you want to travel and the one you're probably going to end up on, and that's about it. And then 50, you're just getting towards the grave, I think. I don't know. I don't know what happens then. I have no idea. I'm talking shit, but I'm going to be 50 and God, was it nine years or some shit? I can't do math. Oh, fucking, oh, Jesus.
Now she's depressing me too. Little Greta Thunberg. But you know what? Calm the fuck down. Lighten up. And there is not everything that you're doing. I guarantee you are contributing just as much to, you know, climate change as anybody else. So little Greta Thunberg, if you really want to, you know, practice what you preach, never ever have a friend that has a car. Don't get in it. Ride on the hood. Maybe that doesn't count if you're, you know, they strap you the hood like a fucking Christmas tree or something like that. Don't ever use hairspray. Uh, no tampons for you. No, that's bad. Bad. They don't disintegrate. They don't. They don't. They don't break down. Um, so she's going to be, yeah, her hygiene may be questionable, but you know, corn husk, like I said, uh, paper towels, none for you. Bad, bad. Don't do it. Bags. Do you ever go shopping? No, no bags. Get a rope, tie it to you like a fucking mule. Do it like that. Okay. Because you really want to believe in this platform. Then lead the way, lead the children, show them. Go to the nearest shopping mall. Be like, you guys, you don't have to use those bags. I have rope and I can transport like cattle. I will show you how. Again, why is everybody walking away from me? What's going on there? What's, how about going to the mall? Did it ever occur to you? Go to the mall, you know, watch a movie or something. We're still work on climate change, start a website, do all that. You know, I'm for that. I really am. I'm, if I could figure out a way to help, I would. But some of us are limited by funds. We don't have rich parents, must be what it is, who get us a boat or assist us getting a boat or who have time to do this bullshit. Some of us have to fucking work. And some of us don't get paid that well. How about that? So yeah, stuff that saves the environment costs a lot more money. Anything natural or any, you know, disintegrating toilet paper and all that is more than the cheap shit. So until you can figure a way out, since you're a little Miss Genius, little Miss, you know, voice of a generation to do that and help people like me, why don't you just have a little cup of shut the fuck up? Just a little, just a little sip of shut the fuck up. Just get a mm, taste in your mouth about that. But yeah, little Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg, the SS Greta Thunberg. Do not listen to Greta Thunberg. It's a good name, though. I'll give her that much. Yeah, shut up. Really, just shut the hell up.